Hi, I'm Matthew, and welcome to Sunday's Shave. Real quick, I'm going to wet the face. How are you guys doing today? Guess what? The weekend is almost over. Today's shave is going to be uh, a soap by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and this is Pineapple Bay Rum. Now, if you've smelt this before, comment below and let me know. What do you think it smells like? There's a little look at the soap itself. To me, it seemed kind of a spicy pineapple and maybe not so much a, a bay rum, but uh, a couple people had mentioned in the other video what they thought it smelled like. And when I let the family smell it, my son Kyle said, that smells like juicy fruit gum. And I didn't really get that smell, but I did go ahead and get it lathered up here, quarter of a teaspoon of soap and 13 milliliters of water. And as I was sitting here, you know, lathering it up and I started getting this aroma. And I don't know if it's in my mind. I don't think it's in my mind because the soap in the tub has a little bit different s smell than here. And so it smells like juicy fruit to me. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and get the pre-shave going here. I got some glycerin soap. And I do have the razor already loaded with a blade. And this is the Yaki Un named razor i know it's pronounced yachi but uh it's a dual open comb and it does have a little bit of blade overhang the alignment's nice and uh this does look like some of the other razors out there but it's it's a little different i am going to be using the feather blade in there and i might not use this hand so much today because i had a little accident anyway uh and this is the polar shaving uh, brush synthetic brush so i can tell my little accident story <laughs> i am uh well i better not say because it'll be it'll bring up a little controversy anyway i have an old ford tractor it's like a 1947 and uh i use it to blade my driveway for the gravel and do different things here and there anyway uh it had been sitting a little while because like i said i had back surgery and so i didn't uh, grade the driveway or do any kind of outside work too much last year so <clears throat> i needed to uh clean out the carburetor on it and so i was taking the carburetor off of it and it that tractor is one of those tractors where if you have a flathead screwdriver and a half inch wrench, you can pretty much take the whole thing apart. Uh, so I was taking the, uh, the two nuts that hold the carburetor on and it's right there by the exhaust manifold. And so I took those off and you know how gaskets always keep uh, two pieces of metal stuck together. Well, I went to give it a little love tap with the hand, and when I did, my hand went around the corner, and uh, on the uh, throttle itself, there is a retaining spring that makes that throttle go back to, uh, you know, idle whenever you let off of it, and that, it's got a little coil, and then it, like, fish hooks around uh, a piece. Well, when I give it the love tap, I went to pull my hand back, and I was like, my hand's caught on something. That's kind of strange. Well, that spring had hooked down around and fished back. It was almost like a fish hook on my finger. And, uh, well, <laughs> I tried to carry on, but then uh, the blood just kept dripping. So I had to 
take a little time out and I don't have my contacts in. Uh, so yeah, I had to abort the procedure for cleaning the carburetor until I could do a little first aid on myself. And since I'm left-handed, uh, you know, that's my dominant hand that got injured. It's going to take a couple days for that to, to heal up nicely. I'm a little curious to see how that aftershave splash will do. So I haven't, I'm not using any evil cube with the menthol. That feather blade in that razor, man, that is a, an excellent shave. Uh, I was talking to my friend Jerry. And he has that, that red and black razor that I had used not too long ago. And he said, you should try the feather blade in there. And I said, well, Jerry, I do love the Gillette Silver Blue. He said, no, you need to try that feather. That's a, it is a nice shave. That's an excellent razor blade and razor combo. I will have to admit. Thank you, Jerry, for that comment. Too bad you don't comment on my videos. You just call me on the telephone. <laughs> That's all right. Jerry's a good dude. Wow, man, that is nice. Spread the love around here. You'd almost get away with just one pass there. But I'm not going to. <laughs> we need to do pass two. And I will tell you that when I was lathering uh, this soap, it just all of a sudden exploded like crazy. So, I don't know if I got a super secret formula, but it seemed like it's enough lather in there to shave a small army. So the scent on this definitely smells like the juicy fruit gum. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I knew that I do like the pineapple smell and some of the colognes. And so I thought, let's just try it, you know. Whew. Let's take a look at the lather that's left in the brush here. Look at that. Doesn't get any better than that. The soap from Phoenix never disappoints and uh, i'm sitting here thinking about that soap i was getting ready to shave in the wrong direction so let's go across the green this razor is a alloy so i gotta be a little precautious about dropping it and hitting it in the sink. So the finish on this razor, remember how I was telling you on the other one it had a little bit of a kind of a grippy feel? This, this is not like that. This is a different type of finish. And so, I don't know if it's just the paint. The knurling is pretty nice. But I can say that it is, it is a little bit slippier for some reason. It seems to want to kind of twist. And it wants to twist right around my damaged area. My little boo-boo. That 
is so smooth. Have a bowl here off camera with some cold water. Do a little rinse here. I'm thinking I may get the bar soap, the bath soap for this scent. I do like it. Use the Black Sheep Lancaster towel. And you can't forget the ice cube. I almost couldn't see it down there. <laughs> oh, my eyesight's so bad. If it's farther than arms reach away, I cannot see it. That ice is nice. All right. I'm going to do the splash. <laughs> Matching splash. There's that seal again. And this one is the uh, one that has a restrictor in it. So I won't have to put my boo-boo over the top of it. Splash on this does have a little bit different scent to me, but as that starts to evaporate, it'll probably change up a little bit. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I think I need a little menthol. I'm going to dip into the Frostbite Star Jelly, and I will tell you real soon if that gets on my finger. Luckily, it did not get on my finger. Close, but not that close. <laughs> Excellent shave combo with the Yaki razor. The open comb with a feather blade for $20. Wow, that is nice. Well, that concludes my shave of the day. I recommend that razor. If you have one, uh, let me know how it performed for you and what's your favorite blade in that particular razor. Well, <sighs> I'm a little disappointed. The shave is over. Excellent shave, but uh, we must go on. I will see you guys on Will It Shave Wednesday, and thank you very much for any new subscribers that I picked up this week. That mental is getting in my eyes now. <laughs> Uh, it's really because of the new subscribers. But uh, thank you guys for returning to watch another video, and I'll see you later. Oh, by the way, I'll put a picture right here of everything I used today. See you guys later. <laughs>